still want to go down with meat eater? Yeah? Wait, what? Uh, Poja, you could, you could do whatever you want. She might fight Furious Food when she gets sick with the coconuts. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I just really can't see her being angry. She's such a nice, like, chill person. Yeah. All the lobster, crab, and fish would all be for me. Yes. Uni, sea urchin. Oh, my God. I could, like, dive down and get some sea urchin. I'd get all of that for myself. Yeah, it'd be great. I'd have to share the rest of it, though. Uh, what? May but maybe radio guy is there also. You need someone to sacrifice to a volcano. Oh, my God. Poor radio guy. Poor radio guy. He, like, he's a nice guy, man. He just needs a lot of help. We ain't gonna ban you, Ranville. Poju, okay. Get you off the island easily, but that ruins the fun. We don't want to get off the island. We're, we're not trying to get off. We're trying to get on. Oh! Victor says, get some seaweed and make some sushi uh, if you choose rice in your one meal. Well, it depends on the kind of seaweed, right? Because a lot of the seaweed is more like stuff that you'd find in miso soup. It's not the dried sea. Well, I guess we could dry it in the sun. We can make some, some poor man's version of seaweed or some sushi. Yeah, we can do it. You're right. We could also just do like, a, what is it? Um... Like nigiri style? Yeah. <gasps> Pancakes! It's been forever! How are you? How was your stream today? Welcome in. I was looking around earlier. How are you doing? It's so good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, we've been very, we've, we've gone off the deep end a little bit, but we're doing really well. Yeah. Welcome in. It's so good to see you. A lot has changed over the past year, six months, three months. Past three months has changed a lot, but it's so good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Uh, apparently we're talking about if I got stuck on a deserted island with any of the four people I'm dating, which one would I choose and why? And also what would we eat? You could drive in the sun. Yes. So if we're, if we're on the deserted island, I could get the seaweed, depending on the type of seaweed, try to dry it on a rock and then make a uh, sushi sashimi. We could try. Is this a cooking channel? Poju, it is a cooking channel. Well, I used to be in food and drink, but it got a little scary in there sometimes. So now we're in just chatting. Plus, we're trying to get some new blood because, yeah. So it's actually a charity channel. So all donations go to St. Jude Children's Hospital. All bits and subs go to help feed our local homeless shelter. And then right now, I made some spicy, kind of healthy, exclamation point menu. I made some turkey chili. We made some honey cornbread. And... I'm donating all of this. This It's not a lot of food, so this is going to a bunch of my friends. Very good, thanks. Yeah, we're about to wrap up. Uh, can you make schnitzel? I think I've made schnitzel before, probably. I cooked for 553 days straight on stream. Cooked a lot of shit on stream, yeah. Uh, Malcolm says, it's my birthday today. I'm 25 years old, everyone. Cheers to Malcolm! Cheers, Malcolm! Poju, thank you for the follow. And also, cheers to Malcolm. Happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. <sighs> thank you, Vendetta, for the Discord. Um, Kelly says, I've taken a break from Twitch for like six months for moving states. <gasps> I did that too. I took a six-month break as well recently. I just came back. Mine was for divorce, but moving is a good reason too. Uh, poet. Poetic mech. Meek. I'm going to call you Poetic. What's up? Welcome into the AFK Kitchen. Uh, taking a break on Twitch for like six months. Yeah, so that's a lot of time for things to change. Yes, yes. I was gone for six months, so I got you. And then I came back. And then I think, when did I come back? I don't know. Was it January? March? Something like that? I don't even know. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of stuff has changed since then. That is the menu. Thank you for that. Yep, you can suggest stuff on uh, Discord. We have a recipe section. If you throw a recipe in the recipe section, I might make it on stream. Someone just recommended I make some pierogies. So I'm making pierogies on stream tomorrow because I was like, I don't know what the fuck to make. So we're making pierogies. Thank you for that. Uh, Kelly, 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 Kelly. Woohoo, cheers. Thank you for the follow as well. Welcome in, Poetic. How are you doing? Um... We're drinking Moscow Mules and we're making chili 
and cornbread. And chat is helping me with all sorts of fun advice and shit. Yeah. Uh, Simon says, pat your head and rub your tummy. Can't do it, Poju. It's physically impossible. Uh, Kelly says, I'm back uh, tonight, so I'll be able to swing here after work. Oh, that's exciting. Yay. I'm still doing uh, evenings. As you can tell, I'm a D-Gen streamer. But uh, I only stream Monday through Thursdays now. And I take random days off in there, depending on, I don't know, dates and shit. But uh, I, Fridays, I have supper club. Saturdays, Saturdays and Sundays, I'm usually out with friends or... Occasionally, I'm in. We'll have people bomb stream. So weekends are up in the air. But yeah, I try to stream when I can. I definitely do not stream every single day anymore. For anyone who doesn't know, I did legit stream 553 days straight for charity. We raised nearly 60k in this kitchen. Uh, but then I got a divorce and life changed. I'm a single mom now, and I don't have the time I used to have. So now we just kind of wing it. Plus, I am dating now. And, uh, boy, oh boy, has that been the fun topic of conversation the past three months. And yeah, so that's another reason why I'm out on weekends and stuff. Uh, okay, sounds good. Gotta have the balance. Yes. Everyone, like, I knew I was going to burn out eventually or that it would, like, become too much. But I had a lot of fun while I did it. We made a lot of food on stream. And then now we just kind of, like, I don't know, computer off. We still cook for the shelter, but instead of cooking for the shelter every week, we do it once a month now. Um, I don't know. And we've switched to just chatting because, well, I've never been a really good food and drink streamer. <laughs> but uh, we switched to just chatting because half the time it's just us on stream chatting and drinking whatever cocktail I decide to make. And half the time I just chop vegetables on stream. Literally, I've, I've had so many streams where it's just me chopping vegetables and we're chatting about whatever the fuck we're chatting about. Neat says, we burned a lot of food on stream. Yes, the food and drink streamer, half the time I was just burning food. Totally can confirm. Uh, nighty night, Poju. I'm going to have a nightmare. It's okay, I have them all the time as well. Wait, I'm in a commercial. What's up, Mary Todd? Welcome in. How are you? Uh, just chatting while in the kitchen. Ha, got it. Yes, I'm just chatting while. So we're still, a, like, we still do food and drink. But uh, we, also there was, a, there was some stuff that happened in food and drink, uh, not related to anyone in the community, just other stuff happened where it just seemed a little bit safer to be in just chatting. We kind of blend in more. So yeah. Uh, and also everyone kept making fun of me because they're like, Kathy, for a food and drink streamer. You don't, you don't do a lot of cooking. So guess what? We switched to just chatting. What up, Mary Todd? How are you doing? Nice to see you. Welcome in. Mary Todd. How's Alaska? I just realized I, we haven't chatted as much recently, but like, it's funny that I'm dating a guy whose nickname is Alaska, which you might have a lot in common with considering you're both from Alaska. He actually has the entire, like he has uh, his entire arm is a tattoo sleeve and it's all Alaska themed. That's why his nick, well, he grew up in Alaska. So his nickname is Alaska. Uh, actually, do they all have tattoos? Yes, they do. Alaska has a sleeve. Uh, cat guy, you guys couldn't see it on stream because he's wearing a shirt, but um, God, is it on his left side or his right side? I think it's on his left side. And then cat guy has a big shoulder tattoo that goes down his back. And then Warhammer has a, I don't remember what side it's on. Warhammer has a tattoo on his chest. And then Poison Ivy also, yes, all four people I'm dating all have tattoos. And they're all fucking hot. Oh my God, muffins. Muffins, muffins, muffins. Oh, go put your head in the oven. Apparently I have a thing for tattoos. <gasps> Wait, I'm not dating him though. There's one guy I'm talking to. We call him T'Challa because he looks like a Wakandan prince. Uh, he has no tattoos, but he's thinking about getting some. I'm not technically dating him though. We have gone on two dates. 
and we're we're just talking because I told him I was like actually I'm tapped out right now like I can't fit another I can't fit another person in and so he's like no it's cool I'll wait <laughs> so I, I guess he's on the wait list so I told him like we can still hang out as friends and we can still talk but like actual romantic interest is not happening anytime soon because I'm tapped out I tap out at four Fucking cold. It is fucking cold in Alaska. I bet it is fucking cold. Welcome in. Uh, Kelly Cake says, did you tell him those sleeves won't keep him warm in Alaska? Nyuck, 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 nyuck. Yeah, he would know. He actually grew up on an island. So we're talking about being on a, an abandoned island or a deserted island. His island was not deserted, but it was a fucking small island. And I think there was like less than... A couple hundred people on the island and I remember him telling me a story about this old granny who would row her boat to the island like every day and she was like 80 years old I was like fucking Alaskans man you guys are hardcore uh do they all have tattoos LT yes yes they cat guy has a tattoo Alaska obviously has a tattoo Warhammer has a tattoo, and I think uh, Poison Ivy has multiple tattoos. Yeah, they all have tattoos. Uh, I And then, so, the only one who doesn't have... So, Alaska's is an entire sleeve. Uh, Cat Guys takes up his entire shoulder. And then Warhammer has one on his chest, but his goal is to extend it down the entire sleeve. So, yes, apparently I, I date guys who like tattoos. And then Ivy has... Uh, Poison Ivy has a couple of tattoos as well. Yeah. Uh, they do. Yes, they do. Every Alaskan has tattoos, says LT. Really? Is that a thing? I'm learning a lot about Alaskans recently. Uh, it was actually funny. So I was talking to one of the other guys about Alaska, and they were like, oh, he's Alaskan, blah, 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 stereotype, and it was exactly true. I was like, oh, interesting. It was a good stereotype. Uh, did Alaska like the muffins? Which muffins? Alaska hasn't had the muffins yet. These ones? He will like them. I'm almost positive. We haven't had a spring, summer. It kind of feels like fall. Oh, Marisol. We haven't had a spring or summer. It kind of feels like fall. Interesting. Uh, sitting at 54. Fucking cold. 54 is cold? Huh. Everybody knows each other up here. So ask him if he knows Mary and Wasilla. Was okay. Okay. Let's ask him right now. Oh, that's so cute. Uh, we're having a conversation about Star Wars, so no. Mm. I'll have to ask him this later. Okay, I'll have to ask him later because he and I are in the middle of a conversation of something else, and I don't want to. I don't want to do that one. Okay, but yes, I will ask him if he knows Mary from Wasilla. He is from a different, he said it on stream. I'm trying to respect his privacy and not give away personal information. He did say where he's from in Alaska on stream, but I still don't want to repeat it. Uh, he did like it. All right, all right. What up, Tufus? How are you doing? Welcome in. 3.30 in the morning for Kelly. Oh my God, it's so late. Good to see you. Uh... You are looking great. Oh, thank you, Kelly. Love your hair. Oh, I just got a cut. No one noticed, but I just got my hair cut. It was actually down to here earlier, but thank you. That's super sweet of you, Kelly. Oh, hope streams are going well. Hope life is going well. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you. And yeah, I, I'm so glad you're back. It's wonderful to see you again. Night, 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 Kelly. Night, night, Kelly. Mary has no tattoos. Okay, not for everyone. Night, night, all the love. Uh, Mary from W. Yes, exactly. Not small enough to say that you only, wait, you're the only Mary? Yeah, maybe. Nobody names the kids Mary anymore. Yeah, not very many people. Okay, so we're actually about to head out too. We have our, I will say the second batch actually looks better than the first batch. It's got like a little bit more of a golden touch on it. I think we did pretty good. I'm pretty proud of us. 
I think the ratio of cornbread to uh, the chili is good too. So that chili is going to go in the oven overnight on warm. And then we will portion it out. I want to get some... I haven't given my one of my mods, Frank. Uh, he lives like down the street from me. And I have not dropped off food in a while. So I want to make sure some of this goes to Frank. Um, a, like half of it is going to Alaska. He was the inspiration for the dish because motherfucker eats the same food every day. And then... Um, I don't know the next time I'm going to see Cat Guy, but it would be nice to get Cat Guy some. And then I'm seeing Warhammer on Saturday, so it would be nice. I'm going to make a second batch. It's not enough food for that many guys. Right? One, two, three. Yeah, it's like four. We need to make more. Uh, yeah, I'd love to munch down on your muffins. They be looking good, Rexis. That's super sweet of you. Thank you so much. They're really sweet. Yeah, I think you would enjoy them. Uh, oh my god, speaking of side tangent, did you guys see the Saturday Night Live skit with Betty White talking about her muffins? Holy shit, go Google that if you haven't seen it yet. I saw it this morning and it let me, oh my god, I laughed so fucking hard. Not just one pot of chili, two pots of chili. I'm like feeding four guys here right now. I think the only one I'm not feeding is Warhammer. Even though I'm going to see him on Saturday, so technically I should probably... God damn it, I'm feeding five guys! Luckily, Poison Ivy is a uh, vegan, so she can't eat this. But I gotta feed three guys in a mod? Yeah, we, 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 got, we got a lot of people to feed right now. Uh, says, yeah. Frank, Frank, you, Frank always says yes to food. I just have to remember to feed everyone. Not... not I mean, I'd never pass up a chance for a Catholic cookie. And Frank, like legit, Frank lives down the street from me. It's super easy to go and drop food off. I need to do that. Uh, it could be six, guys, if you played your cards right. Rex is what you talking about. What you talking about? Uh, five guys, we got a whole, wait. Five guys, we got a whole, has a restaurant chain in our hands here. Yeah, exactly, right? Exactly. Okay, it is... Okay, it's only half an hour into extra innings. Uh, but we're going to wrap up and we're going to go find someone to raid. These go in, so they're going to cool. And these go in a Ziploc bag. Or a giant mason jar. I will portion those out into, oh no, those are going, how hot is this? Oh, I, eh. We're either portion it out or we're going to put it in the oven overnight. Either way, chili's going to get put away. Uh, muffins are going to get put away. I'm going to make a second batch in the afternoon. And then tomorrow on stream, we're making pierogies because Ursulati, was it Ursulati? No, it was someone else. Uh, chat asked me to make pierogies and I, don't know, I thought it'd be fun. So we're going to make pierogies. I do want to get freaky with half the batch. So half the batch is going to be uh, traditional pierogies with the potatoes and the cheese and all that. Then the second pierogi, ha the second half is going to be freaky. I don't know what we're going to do to it, but we're going to get freaky with it. I kind of want to shove like kimchi up in there. I don't even know. Uh, five guys got a whole ass restaurant chain on our hands here. There you go. Yeehaw. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Let's go find someone to raid. Who do we want to raid? Who do we want to raid? Bum, 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 bum. Who's on Twitch? Cabbage for sure. Yeah. So, wait, Randall, correct me for, so when you make pierogies, is it, is it cabbage, cheese, and potato? Because I just remembered something about cabbage, and I was like, okay, well, then I could substitute kimchi, but is it, is it potatoes, cheese, and cabbage? Seabus is on. Ooh, we haven't done Seabus in a while. We can do Seabus. Cabbage for sure. Okay, so I have a lot of cabbage. Oh, that's the other thing. We're doing kimchi and pierogies. So I think we're going to do regular pierogies, kimchi pierogies, and then we're going to make new kimchi. It is cabbage. Okay, okay, okay. That's, okay, that's what I thought. Okay, so usual pierogies have cabbage, cheese, and potato. So I got the cheese, I got the potato, and then we'll do regular cabbage. 
And then I thought we'd do a second batch and we'd get freaky with it and we'll do kimchi fermented cabbage, Korean spicy fermented cabbage in the second batch. And then waltz, all that shit's happening. Maybe while the dough is resting, I don't even know. I didn't read the recipe yet. Then there'll be a period of time where we're just going to make kimchi on stream because I bought three heads of Napa cabbage and I'm going to do uh, one big batch of like standard kimchi and I'm going to do one tiny batch of vegan kimchi because that's what Poison Ivy does to me. She just keeps throwing a wrench in it, not in a bad way, but she keeps me on my toes. So I'll, when I'm making food for everyone else, I do whatever, but I, I go out of my way to do something extra special for her. So I'm going to make vegan kimchi tomorrow as well. Um, do pierogies, wait, uh, I can do pierogies with just all those. Yeah, one, two, three, yep. Yeah. You can just do one and two. Good to know, good to know. Uh, I don't like kimchi, but I've never had spicy kimchi. I think I need to give that a try. Yeah, Vendetta, do it, do it, do it. Uh, you need to, yeah. I'm part Polish and I have a recipe. Randville, yeah, you can throw it in the recipe section of Discord. I found a recipe that I was going to use. I think it's on something pennies spend with pennies something i don't know i found a recipe online but if you have one that you like better you can uh, post it in the recipe section of our discord vendetta what uh how are you doing i'm so sorry to hear that check the fault that sounds horrible wait that's what your face said excellent oh my i'm sorry can't believe i found her on twitch me that's terrible what year is that 2011 i couldn't drive in 2011 yo i didn't know how to drive wasn't me though i have been told i have that face that i look like a lot of other people all right are we gonna go do 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 we have all oh, haven't done that before um oh that sounds fun we just went to her. We'll do her again soon. We haven't done them in a while. Ooh, okay, we can do them. I think we're gonna go somewhere we haven't gone recently. We're gonna go to, uh, where is she at? Where are they at? Gin and soda, we're gonna go raid gin and soda. Uh, what? I can show a recipe. Yeah, ex okay, I'll put it right here. Exclamation point. Discord. Who done done that? Before you leave, thanks for all the great advice you've been giving recently. And Dada, you're gonna make me blush. Thank you. Uh, that was very sweet. Thank you for the bits. For anyone who doesn't know, bits and subs go to help feed our local homeless shelter. So thank you, Vendetta. And most of all, thank you for being a big part of our community. And thanks for hanging out with me in chat. It's, it's just so much more fun when you're here. Thank you. All right. We're going to go raid gin and soda. Wait. Is she doing... Um, she's playing Little Nightmares. Have I done this one before? Let's see who else. Mm. Yeah, let's go read a small stream. We're going to go gin and soda. Uh, I've, I haven't been to her in a while, but I remember really, really adoring her. Okay, so we're going to go gin and soda. All right, ready to create So I'll be back tomorrow. We are going to, this stuff should all be done. We're going to be making pierogies and kimchi tomorrow on stream. This should be really fun. Yeah, how are the cooks? Uh, yeah, how they are cooked makes a big difference. We'll see how the pierogies go. I've made pierogies three times on stream. Only one time they turned out edible. We'll see what happens. It'll be fun. Uh, pierogies are time consuming, also personal taste. But yeah, we'll see how they go. I think so. Try to stop on lunch break. Sounds good, Vendetta. All right, y'all, let's go read gin and soda. I'll be back tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat channel. Hope to see you guys all there. And yeah, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate y'all. Please go give gin all the love. See you guys tomorrow.